Hey guys, how are you doing? Apple have released iOS 18.1 Beta 4 to developers and possibly in a couple of days we may expect the public beta rollout to the beta testers. The very first feature is call recording now works on iPhone XR, XS and above models. Previously, we believed that a call recording feature could be limited to iPhone 12 and above models. Instead, the call recording feature along with the transcription service will be working on iPhone 12 and above models. But with the iPhone XR, XS and 11 models, the basic call recording feature will work. Only the transcription service feature is limited to iPhone 12 and above model. The one I have right now with me is iPhone 12 running iOS 18.1 beta 4. Previously, up to beta 3 version, it was available only for 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max but now it is clear and confirmed that the iOS 18.1 when it is officially released by the end of October 2024 we will see the call recording feature working on iPhone so here the recorded call goes to the notes application as a separate note and you can tap and hold the audio recording to access the share sheet and export it to files app or you can share it quickly with the whatsapp messenger and the next important feature is spatial recording feature that is now added to iphone 15 pro and pro max model that is a separate camera mode that is called a spatial when you turn the iphone to landscape mode you know to shoot the spatial video you can see the either you need to choose the photo or video mode the next important change is network settings UI in the control center has been changed with the iOS 18.1 beta 4. Also, it is still not possible to rearrange this icon. I have submitted feedback and if you are using the beta version, do use the feedback assistant application to send a feedback to Apple. They may consider to let us to rearrange. The control center new design is a welcome addition, but it is still messed up and you know, rearranging the icons is still difficult and definitely it is going to take some time for you to you know get set with the new design redesigned control center of iVoice 18. Meanwhile if you want to access the Bluetooth personal hotspot or cellular data quickly you can drag and drop the control separately on the control center customization option and apart from these changes the keyboard bug is still not fixed in some phones like the one you are seeing right now is 15 pro max and i still experience the keyboard hang issue while typing faster some letters are not typing and it is kind of frozen and i need to wait for a couple of seconds in order to type again i hope apple address these issues in the upcoming beta versions before the final rollout thanks for watching for more useful iphone ipad and mac related tips and tricks don't forget to subscribe have a wonderful day